Right, all we've got today is a 851 Ducati. Hasn't been on the road since 13. So all we're gonna do is restore it. I'm gonna strip it, frame done, paint work. We'll get all the body work off in a minute and see what's underneath and see what else we gotta do. Be a nice bike when it's done. Got a new alley tank for it, the old one. It had the wrong tank on it before, which rusted out. It should have been an alley one, but it was a metal one. A few bits to do. So let's get the bodywork off. Well, this is it all stripped. Engine, um, quite a bit of corrosion on it, but we know it runs all okay. So we just tidy all that up. There's the frame. Don't look much of a frame really, does it? But that go to powder coating. We'll sort the engine. Wheels will go to powder coating. We'll clean all the stuff up. We'll get it back to a, a, a rolling chassis and then we'll worry about the bodywork. Right, the 851 so far. We've had the frames been powder coated, the wheels have been powder coated. The radiator has been recalled because we couldn't find another one. And initially, all we was going to do to this was tidy up the engine, tidy up the frame and wheels. I started putting it together and I got a bit carried away. I've replated all these, replated them, that I replated. New lever. Red looks okay, so it's pretty good. Come around the side. So the engine's come up pretty well again. Looks like it should do. I've got a few wires here to sort out. Look at this. Lovely connectors. We'll get a nice connector box for that. But what I found I plated all these, I plated the springs, plated them, plated them. But if you blast it with um, really fine sand, in my case, worn out sand, <laughs> the nickel comes up like that, and it, I think it looks quite cool, instead of looking like a Christmas tree. So all I've got to do to it now, is holding oil, it's holding coolant, I've got to get a set of can belts, the only disastrous things we found, that was broken. That was just like that. When we undone it, it fell off. Replace the wheel bearings, lever. That was strapped to the rad with tie wraps. I think we can do something better than that. Chain and sprockets, all the old googly clips. Most of these are the old engine cover bolts that are changed. That was the seat which wasn't so good. But I'll retrim that, that'll be fine. So at the moment, that's where we're at. What I'm gonna do now is refit the bodywork just to make sure it all fits before I paint. Right, I managed to get all the bodywork back on. It seems to fit fine. Um, so there'd be no problems there. There's nothing worse than when you paint something and you offer it back to the bike and you've got to file holes out. So it all fits, it's not too bad. There's a few bits I've got to repair here, there. It's a bit scuffed here, but that, that, that's easy. So we can do all that. It's, it's just superficial, that really, we can get all that out. I have um, retrimmed the seat. Um, it's sitting a bit screw with, so the holes have been drilled wrong, so I'll have to change that. Originally, it had this tank on it. Nice tank, as you can see. But it sat a bit further forward, so that wouldn't have really shown. But I can, we can sort that out. And this is the colour scheme the gent wants it. So next job is to paint it. <laughs> 